being infinite comes from, I think, a lot about the notion of being a human being and the sort of uh, spatial, temporal constraints that that inherently has. The visual language is being cast by me, but it's being equally met by the materials. That's a relinquishing of authorial intent, right? I'm allowing for some of the authorship to fall into the hands of the materials. The medium that I use is it's like an acrylic wash. I mix it myself, so it's a combination of a few things, but ultimately it behaves more like a dye than a paint. That has this ecological approach to it where it's not a very heavy bodied material that is being dictated explicitly by my hand. The decision to split the images off the object and between two painted canvases is a representation of looking at self for one and extending the authorial intent beyond just my own gestures and my own nature. I lay down these color fields, I lay down these forms and these pools of this liquid, and then the relationship of the materials takes over. You know, gravity is pushing down and the pigment is suspended in, in a pool of water. There's drama, there's theatricality. It's subtle, but it's there. Thank you.